This is Serenity uh, Leisure's video for this 2010 Swift Conqueror 630. The video has been made in conjunction with the photographs and editorial that you may have already seen. And uh, even on this wet and windy and blowy day, it's being made uh, in conjunction, uh, uh, sorry, in relation to just giving you a little bit more information and up close video footage of the caravan itself. Right, so uh, I've had many of the uh, uh, Conqueror 630s over the years, so I like to think I know quite a lot about them. Good points and bad points. Fortunately, the, there are many more good points and bad points on this particular caravan. Uh, very distinctive with their silver sides, and 2010 had uh, slightly different graphics uh, to some of the earlier models. They also um, put the, uh, the skirts and all the locker surrounds into grey. Uh, that's the Aldi heating uh, outlet there. In terms of condition on the, uh, we'll start at the back actually, there we go, so you've got a uh, high intensity rear brake light up here, this will be your uh, integrated fog light down the bottom there, and the uh, condition of the back is uh, pretty much spotless, I can honestly say, it's been very well looked after, to say the least, and down at the non-entry level side, so I've just been down, but I'm going back down again. Uh, no pimple marks that I can see, no nasty scratches or scrapes. Nothing at all on that side in terms of condition, and I will point it out. If I can find a pimple mark, I will tell you, because there's some people it really aggravates them, and I understand that. Being a car owner myself, that aggravates me. Uh, gas locker, obviously, to the front. Uh, take two large bottles in there, or six kilograms. And then down at the non-entry level side, again, in terms of condition, much the same. I, I did spot a tiny little pimple mark somewhere. Uh, but I don't think, oh, there we go, okay. That, there, if you can see that, that's as much as I can find on this side. No awning marks at the top. There we go, okay, so we're going to move to the inside because it's very cold and uh, wet and windy for late November. Uh, Astro LED external light, uh, they're very bright, especially if you've got your awning up, they act very well, act, illuminate rather. Uh, the Conqueror 630 is a renowned uh, full four berth caravan, very high end, uh, costing now, they still make the 630, have a look at the price of a new one, 28 and a half circa for a new Conqueror now, which is why the residual values are so good for second-hand ones. Um, this uh, front lounge um, um, converts into a double bed, if you so desire. You've got this nice sort of plush upholstery. There is a table that comes out like so and folds over. Oh, here's a book here, uh, with the nursing standard, and the front cover says alcohol addiction therapy. Very good. Oh, the other one's quite nice, Atlantic Hotel. Hmm. Uh, this caravan has just arrived, so we haven't valeted it yet, but it is, which is why the magazines are still there, but it is in very nice condition and certainly presentable enough to show um, or, uh, or even photograph and do the video, etc. Now, they have concertina blinds all the way around, with, which come down again with integrated fly screens, as you can see. That's a standard feature. Sweat boards on the back of the Conqueror. It has an onboard water tank, which is integrated into the floor. Uh, it has Aldi central heating up here, and it has the sort of newer style control panel, like so. There we go. Hartel uh, door, the higher security doors with a uh, that is a fly screen integrated into the door itself as well. Uh, upholstery remains virtually completely unmarked, nothing on it at all. Uh, good sized kitchen area with the new sort of Korean style effect um, uh, recessed sink, the hob with uh, three gas and one electric. Um, a nice, they're very nice Tetford ovens on these ones and plenty of storage so this covers all these drawers come out like so and uh, I think we've already photographed that so you can already see some of the pictures your uh, little bar area up there this is without stating the obvious you know what that is, oh still in the wrappers so that looks to be completely unused the large Tetford fridge freezer with the silver front Isn't it nice to have a fridge freezer with a silver front that matches your silver sides of your caravan? Oh, that's very important. Yeah. 
So the uh, three quarter length fixed bed with a fully sprung ultra comfort mattress. That mattress you can see in terms of condition is pretty much spotless uh, as you'd want it to be. This just lifts up on the Hecky gas struts and underneath here you've got all this storage space, the Audi boiler and the water uh, tank uh, holder that it comes with are underneath there. There we go, and a broom handle by the looks of it, that's no use to anybody, so that'll be going. Uh, television point up here, that swivels round so that you can watch it in the lounge. No less than four overhead lockers, again LED lighting. And in here is your sort of wardrobe space, around there. Uh, the Aldi heating, you can hear that pumping away. Uh, I have to get this caravan nice and warm for uh, Andrew on Monday morning, otherwise he won't step inside it if he's too cold to clean it. Yes. There we go. And more storage space underneath. Uh, there's a radiator from the older heating, keeps the bedroom piping warm. And obviously another window. Right, the bathroom. Again, a big feature on the 630s is the size of these bathrooms. They're very good and very luxuriously appointed. Uh, you've got this big double shower here, all chrome fittings, that's all in very nice condition, double shower, the uh, sink which is a, a recessed sink with some storage underneath, Tetford C250 swivel toilet, more radiator points uh, in the bathroom, this nice big sort of storage section here. And that is, uh, it's got a radiator in there as well. So that's like a drying cupboard. Uh, you can put your towels, etc., in there. And obviously, if you've got the heating on, they'll dry in no time at all. Pelmet lighting, which virtually goes all the way around the caravan. Oh, and this little section here drops down just to give you a little bit more worktop space in the kitchen. Uh, but with that up and the concertina door which is here pulled across, that separates the bedroom area obviously from the rest of the caravan itself. Okay, that uh, just about completes Serenity Leisure's video for this 2010 Swift Conqueror 630.